big thing that people have these days. I'm, I'm going back to it because this is a hot topic right here. Distractions. Yeah. I hear about scheduling every day, but, but sometimes these distractions so strong, it's like a person can't even remove from that distraction. What type of advice would you give them besides making a schedule? You have to, one, you have to want it as bad as you want to breathe, as my boy Eric Thomas would say. Um, it gets a point in your life where you got to make a decision of who you want to be, how you want to get there. Um, a lot of people struggle with this is because they're typically trying to prove something to somebody else. You can get to where you desire to get to or get beside these distractions when you decide what you want to be. You have to plan it. You have to st say, hey, prime example, I want to be a doctor. Let's okay. say you want to be a doctor, okay. right? And so you know that you got to go to medical school. We're going to okay. work this backwards. But before I go to medical school, I got to get a degree, Yeah. right? Now, while I'm doing all this, there's a certain way that I got to carry myself because I plan on being a doctor. You already know you're going to be a doctor. You don't have to wait till you get in that class to read that book. I, I want to repeat that for you. You already know you're going to take the class. Why do you wait till you get in the class to read the book? So this is the reason why you struggle through school. This is the reason why it take you longer to do it because you wait until you were told to do something before you did it. It all goes back to you having the desire to become it. Think about, think about Charles Drew, right? First heart transplant, right? Uh -huh. he, he couldn't go to the schools. He created, he created a procedure that he needed when he died, but he had, they had to drive him to the White Hospital and he drive him transit. Garrett A. Morgan, like, Come on, like all of the, the black inventors, they didn't have the, the, the time. technology. They didn't have the, the technology, the tools, the resources. So what I'm telling you is that the masses know that the television control you. They know how television going to make you respond. The, your cell phone is a small television. If you ever get some time, read some books. 1984, George Orwell, Great Start, Stolen Legacy. Like, um, before Columbus in, in 1492, like, get into some text. And because everything they didn't want us to know, they put in a book, you know? So we got to read more. So if you want to get away from distractions, turn off the TV and open up a book, because a book going to open your brain. Your brain like a parachute. It only work when it's open. Man, it, man, a lot of people struggle with that, including myself. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I keep it real on what's yeah, happening to TV. You get what I'm saying? And, like... I'm strong at times, but at times I'm not as strong as I would like. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm not strong, like I'm gonna give the world an example. I'm also a fellow member of the fine organizational group our group social fellowship incorporated. Actually, what most city graduate chapter, correct? That's right. Thank you. This is my president, by the way. So it's like I put all that effort on the line. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And once I accomplish being a, 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 a swanksman to a fellowman mm -hmm. uh, into the land of Groove 5. And I understand that I had obstacles because, you know, I've been trying to play it since, what, 2016? Mm -hmm. and, I finally, and I finally went over 2000, 2020, what, 22? Yeah, but you got to think about one thing. I think we get caught up with this as humans is time. Like, first off, they told you it's 24 hours in a day. That's a lie because you got day and night. So it can't be 24 hours in a day. So we get so caught up in the concept of time to the point where we create these pseudo schedules and think that it's going to accomplish what we want it to accomplish. And not realizing that at the end of the day, it's already written how it's going to play out. You just got to keep fighting. How bad you want it. How bad you want it. You're going to get told no in life more than you get told yes. Yeah. But the time you get told yes, you're going to relish in that moment. But a lot of us never get to that yes because we stop at them no's. So we have to get to a point where you realize that all I have to do is stay driven. All I got to do is keep going. All I got to do is keep persevering. All I got to do is keep having a dream. The television takes away your dream because it takes away your ability to think. It's so so you at, what, uh, Texas State? Texas State University. In, uh, in San uh, Marcus. Marcus, right? Mm -hmm. So you going, I know you got a family, you got a, you got babies, you got everything like yeah, that. So yeah. <laughs> when, 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 when you feeling weak, how you keep going? Ah, oh, see. How you keep going? Come on, let, let the people know how you keep uh, going. To be honest, between me, God, my wife, um, support system, if I can sum it all up, like, you got to have a support system. You got to have people around you that's going to tell you the truth, that's going to tell you you're messing up when you're messing up, that you're doing good when you're doing good. 
And you just got to have belief. You got to believe that you can succeed. It's the same thing I tell my students. We say it every day before they leave class. I believe I can succeed. Whatever you believe in is going to happen. You know what I mean? I'm a firm believer of positive affirmation, speaking things into existence. Um, you know what I mean? And until you realize that you have to claim it, you can get anything you want from this universe, but you have to claim it. Your blessings are on reserve. Can't nobody take what you got. You know what I mean? Can't take what's coming to you. So... Until you tap into that, like I say, until you realize that I need to sit down, I need to meditate, you can call it prayer, you can call it quiet time, you can call it whatever you want. But you need to sit down and really be quiet and let yourself talk to you. Y'all be waiting to hear from God, but God ain't gonna talk to you. I need you to understand that God not gonna talk to you because you made in his image. You already know. You already he know already what, in he you. already in you. He man. already in you. you so, he already in you. So you just gotta. So, so when you sitting down on, talking bro. to yourself, that's him no, anyway that's him, speaking that's to him you. Talking to you. And it's when you try to control the conversation when you y'all like to call him the devil. The devil, that's man, y'all gotta read, bro. Council of Nisa, 325 AD. You know what I mean? Tap into that so you can find out how all this stuff was canonized to you. The reason why we got the, the Holy Trinity, the reason why y'all believe it's the devil. Like the, the whole thing, you know, just read the Council of 325 AD and it'll kind of elevate you on some stuff and you can find out about Caesar, Belligria, and all these images that you worship inside your churches. But what I'm coming to tell you is that the bottom line is this. Like, it's a supreme being. I don't care what you call him. You call him God. You call him Allah. You can call him whatever you want. It's one supreme being, right? And I need you.